Next question is from Team Quinn Fit. When using a food scale to track ounces of meat, should you measure it raw or cooked? You know, I I used to get this question all the time. I still do. I, it's it's I want I wanted to I picked it right because because we get it so often. I don't get this question ever. We <laughs> <laughs> Strange. <laughs> well, I you know I so I definitely. Uh, weighed and measured and, and tracked my my food uh religiously for you know over three years like without ever missing a day yeah and i actually never got caught up in this i never really cared if it was uh, raw whatever i did i just stayed consistent with it so if you measured it cooked then that's how you always do it always did it that way mm-hmm. or if i were to measure it right so there's like these camps right of yeah. like which way is the better way oh after it cooks you lose some of the the, um, the amount of calories and protein that are in it, so it's not as high, and so you should do it before and not after, or mm-hmm. after is actually what you're consuming, so you should actually do it after. It's like, there's all these camps, I'm just like, I, you're, we're talking about splitting hair shit right here. It's literally... Yeah, how much do you lose? Like, you, you cook a pound of beef uh, versus... Yeah, you, you don't, don't lose that much. Yeah. And again, it doesn't really matter if that's how you always track. Mm-hmm. If you're always tracking cooked food, then you should... Stick with that. Yeah, because then you're measuring that with your results and with your fat, body fat. And it doesn't matter. Yeah, but so right. people want to know this because this is what ha- – and this is the part that I don't like. And I, we all, we have a free macro calculator that people can go online and use. So, so we, what? Mapsmacro.com. Right. So, But here's why I don't like tools like that is because – Everyone gets so hung up on the number that that thing kicks out for you. That thing doesn't know you. Yeah. It doesn't know your behaviors. And even with, if you input it all of it, and ours is great. It's very, it's really accurate. But it's still generic. And your and your day to day changes, so you got to figure all that stuff out anyway. So just because my macro calculator tells you you need X calories and X protein, that that's not like you can't follow that to a T. That's a good guideline for you to where to start, and then from there you have to kind of modify and figure out like where is your kind of homeostasis. And so wherever you're measuring, I would just stay consistent. I did it cooked because. You know, nasty raw food me- messing with it <laughs> on, on a scale? scale and stuff. Like no, <laughs> like it just was easier after I was done cooking to throw it in there and then weigh it and measure it. Yeah, well, I so I feel I I think it's if you really want to get crazy and meticulous, uh, whatever you're using that'll give you the number. So let's say you go on like Fat Secret or whatever. I think you can put in raw or cooked raw chicken. You can put raw pound. or cooked on it, right? So just use that. It'll tell you whatever you're measuring, and then just be consistent. And I think the best part of what you're saying, Adam, is. Pay attention to your body. It's like, you know, oh, why am I not getting leaner? I know I'm consuming only 1,600 calories. That's a deficit. Who cares? You're not getting leaner. It means it's too much for you. Drop it down. Yeah. But being consistent is going to allow you to do that. Right.